virtual user generator before we look at the virtual user generator a uh, quick glance at a few definitions virtual user load on emulate the environment in which thousands of users work with a client server system concurrently load on creates or replaces human users with a virtual user also known as the v user virtual script the actions performed by the human users are recorded in the form of script the script generated by the load runner is v user script the scripts when replayed emulate the real user performing the business actions the scripting language uses c c++ java or tsl which is nothing but transaction scripting language a proprietary language actions actions are set of user transactions performed in an application to accomplish business task each virtual user script will always have three default actions first the v user in used for logon into the application actions used for business actions that need to be recorded v user in used for logon from the application the virtual user generator also known as a v user enables you to develop v user scripts for a variety of application types and communication protocols a v user not only records v user scripts but also runs them To verify that the script runs correctly, you run it in standalone mode. When your script runs correctly, you incorporate it into a load runner scenario. The script development process is: record the script, replay the recorded script to verify the scripting was recorded properly, enhance the script for any transactions or checkpoints if required, replay the script again to verify everything is working fine. Configure various runtime settings like number of users, load duration, browser settings, and so on, and use such a script for a load scenario. Now, recording is done in Load Runner. View generator does not record the activities performed by the client on the application. Instead, view generator create a script by recording the activity between the client and the server to understand the concept better let's observe and compare how client actions are recorded in qtp a flagship function texting tool and load runner the task at hand is to enter a quantity 1 in shopping cart of a web retailer and click the button Place order to complete the order process. In the background, you see the QTP window. In the foreground is the Mercury Tools web retailer. We assume that the QTP is in recording mode. The user enters quantity equals to one. In QTP window. A step is recorded which sets a quantity at at box equals to one. The user clicks the place order button. In QTP window, a step is recorded which clicks the place order button. In the website, the user is taken to the order confirmation screen. Now, let's observe and compare how recording is done at Load Runner for the same order process. For a note, again I mentioned, load runner will only record communications that take place between the client and the server. Assuming load runner is in recording mode, user enters quantity equals to one. Since there is no communication between the client and server, no event is recorded in load runner. User clicks place order button. Here, client does send the order information to the server. and an event is recorded in load runner